Hey, what's up everyone? Danny and Alex. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at some guard passes, but from different positions. So I want to talk about the open guard, how easy it is if you do it right to pass the legs, as well as more advanced positions such as De La Riva, for example, and the half guard. So check it out. All right, let's look at a very basic pass because I did mention I'm going to show something super easy to do. Now, of course, not everyone's going to position themselves like I am right now with the feet on the ground, but if so, this is what you would do. Always be controlling the legs. So maybe I'm starting in the open guard position here. He's going to go inside pants grip, always on the inside of the knees, making a nice connection here and keeping his elbows aligned with my ankles. Now, all he's doing here is moving back and placing both feet to the mat. Now, he's cleared the open guard position. Now, the easiest pass to do from here is to widen his base and stepping across into a knee on belly position and now he has that pass done, all right? So it's an easy pass to do, and you can surprise a lot of opponents with this. So from the open guard position, this is great when the bottom person doesn't have any grips, any connections to your sleeves or collar. So he's just here waiting with the feet, clear the feet from the hips, and now step across, land right into the neon belly to his guard pass. All right, so now he gets his grips, brings the feet down, passes the guard into the neon belly position. Look, from here, this is a great position to have when you're starting out in jiu-jitsu. It's a good control. Not only did you score some points, five points already, because three for the pass, two for the knee on belly. But now, if he gets a nice collar grip behind the neck right here, one, and he can also grab this pant right here, two, and drive a lot of pressure downwards. And this, sometimes people will tap just with that. It's not necessarily a submission technique, but it creates so much pressure. It's tremendous. From the bottom here, it's hard to breed. And a lot of times, persons that are just starting out jiu-jitsu, they'll just tap from this, all right? Now let's go back to basic fundamentals. If you're having a hard time controlling your knee on belly position, what you should do is post right here beside the neck. You don't want me moving in and post right here on the outside of the hip. So now he's framed me in. It's hard for me to move left or right side. Now he's gonna drop the lead knee to the shoulder and drop the other one at the hip, right? Basic fundamentals of jiu-jitsu. Now let's look at a very basic choke. Look. He's going to use that grip he had behind the neck, come inside the jacket, and this arm right here, it's going to disappear and underhook the near side arm. So all he's doing is cupping. Look, if I turn to the side, all Alex is doing here is hooking this arm and cupping on my shoulder so I can't move. All right, so here he has that collar grip. Now, the reason why we're holding that shoulder is because he doesn't want me turning into him. So now I can't turn. Look, he's just going to raise his elbow off the mat, a loop it around my face, and now it's almost like he's shaving into the collar choke and now he drives the weight and creates the tap. So let's look at that submission technique once again. Look, he's controlling the neck behind here by grabbing the collar, right? So now for me, it's hard to move. And now look, he's gonna just underhook this arm, go and hold that shoulder on that side. And look, all he needs to do is raise the elbow off and around the head. So he creates a lot of pressure with his forearm right onto the neck. And that creates the paper cutter choke. And as you can see, lots of pressure causes me to tap. All right, so we start from this position here, talked about some basic guard passing, but once this guy is more savvy in the guard techniques, he's gonna put you with a lead hook, all right? So this is called De La Hiva guard. So basically, if you don't know what to do from here, you're gonna get stuck. What's the main difference between open guard, De La Hiva, and maybe even half guard? Well, basically, open guard, he's not controlling any of your limbs. He's just having his feet in front of you. Now, De La Hiva is controlling that lead leg. If I were to drop my knee onto the ground, now he's gonna control that same leg using the half guard technique. We'll talk about that in a moment. But for now, De La Hiva guard, what you wanna do from here is prevent the extension. So a lot of times, like we looked at previous videos, he wants to bring this leg back. He's gonna push me back off balance so he can drive me into some sweeps. So what I'm going to do is drop this all together. Now he can't use any push. Now he's lost control of that back leg. What I want to do from here is get a nice control to his collar so I can stand up once again, but make him remove his hooks. When I posture up, he's going to come with me. Watch from here. Now, look, I'm going to go over, reach for his belt, reach for his belt right here. And now this hand is going to wait for this knee here. Now I'm going to back step over that leg. Now watch when I have a seat from here, I'm controlling him. Now it's easy to remove this leg underneath my hips and now drive his hips back and now I can control the top position into side control. So I'll show you guys another angle. So here again, 
Now I don't have any grips, so one pass you can use here is just kneel on the back leg. Now he can't push you off balance. Now to remove this hook, I'm gonna go back into my connections, have him bring him up. As you posture up, you want him postured up, boom. Okay, now watch this, from the back. You reach over his head and grab his belt, right here. Okay, let's turn again, Alex. Now from here, this hand is gonna underhook the leg, but also watch my back foot. It's gonna jump over that lead leg, have a seat, and now look, easily remove this hook, bring it under your hip, drive his legs away. So you're back into side control position, and you have your pass. Now, let's look at the half guard. If you made a mistake or simply dropped the wrong knee on the mat, for example, instead of dropping here like our previous technique, you decided to drop this leg here. What's gonna happen is gonna lock you into the half guard position, right? You see how correlations start to connect between different guard positions and depending on how you position yourself to pass the guard, this is where he's gonna trap you, all right? So this is the half guard. We talked about half guard sweeps in previous videos, but now I wanna show you a very basic pass. If you end up here and you haven't had that head connection just yet, the first thing you wanna do is close the distance. You don't wanna be trapped in half guard here. A lot of times beginners just try to free their leg, push this leg out. This is not gonna work, guys. What I wanna do immediately is remove the distance and get close to him. All right, so look, what happened is you're gonna dive your arm underneath his arm. That's called an underhook. So I'm gonna drive this here and bring my shoulder onto his chest and my head right beside his head. And now look, I have access to this arm, which I can hold against my body. Now notice how this leg is not on the mat. I'm not leaning my knee on the mat. I'm gonna bring my knee off the mat and post my foot nice and wide. So I have a good base and I'm half man out. Now all I need to do is start to shake my leg out. Look, he's holding my knee here. I'm gonna to start to bring my knee off the mat. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Once here that I feel that my knee is free, look, I'll bring his knees inside and start to slice across. Now my knee is on the mat, my foot is trapped, and look, I'll use this leg, push the top leg out, free this foot, get into my base, and now I've cleared the guard. Now once you do this technique, I wanna share one more additional detail that's super important. The moment you get to here, if you forgot to bring your arm underneath his arm, now this opponent could be savvy enough to take your back. Look, he's gonna move, and this is exactly what we showed by taking the back in a previous half guard video, all right? So we wanna prevent this. So this is a game of chess. It's counter for counter. It's a game of action and reaction. Whoever's there first or whoever makes the first mistake, that person is gonna capitalize and this is gonna create the win for positions. So if I can get this arm inside, now I'm stopping the back take altogether just with that simple move. But the moment I'm here, look, I need to bring my head connected to his head because I don't want him getting deep inside creating sweeps, right? So if I bring my head here, now he can't get inside, right? The last thing, he's gonna use this to push the knee, create some space to recover the guard or even clear this shoulder from coming down to create pressure. So if I can get to this position and hold all these three pieces together, I've just enhanced greatly my chances of passing the half guard. All right, so let's look at this one more time. I get the underhook, overhook, head control, and don't forget, post your leg up. Now shake that back leg out, cut through the moment this touches the mat right here, now, sometimes you could just kick through and free your foot. This works. Other times, you'll have to do that first variation I showed by pushing the leg out with the opposite foot, but make sure you do not lose this underhook position. All right, guys, so there you have it. Some tips, techniques to use against the open guard, De La Hiva, as well as half. Hope you enjoyed this content. Leave us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next video. Take care.